Hi everyone, this is Jarle from Handmade Cards Happy Heart. Today I will be showing you a card that I made for the current Cloud9 Crafts Challenge. I made this flippin' awesome baby card. Let me show you which stamp sets I used. So first of all, of course, the Swan Soiree sets. Then the Totally Awesome. The Plus One stamp set. And then a few images from the Happy Village and the Village Heroes stamp set. And then, of course, also the interactive Flippin' Awesome die from Lawn Fawn. I started this by die cutting that Flippin' Awesome mechanism out of some 80 pound cardstock. I folded all of the score lines um, in both directions. After that I die cut a few panels out of some teal dandy day paper and a few panels out of Bristol smooth cardstock since I was going to be doing some ink blending on top. Here you can see me choosing all my images that I was going to be using on my cards. I kind of wanted to create a little storyline where the swan was pregnant, then they went to the hospital and then there was a little baby. Um, so the final scene was going to be the whole family together on the lake. I stamped all of my images with my MFT Extreme Black ink, since this was a Copic friendly ink. Here you can see all the images I stamped. As always, I used my Copic Multiliner to kind of enhance my black lines that weren't stamped as crisp as I wanted to. I do believe that this gives the whole card a more finished result. I colored all my images with some Copic markers. Now, since this always takes me a while, all the coloring, uh, I have sped up this video quite a bit, but for your convenience, I will list down all of my Copic combinations in the description box below. Now, I also have a link with a full supply list in the description box, so you can definitely check that out to see all the items that I used to create this card from start to finish. I didn't went all out with uh, the, my color choices, I just used an RV combination and then kind of a teal combination. It's actually the first time that I used it. Uh, it's the BG49, BG13 and BG11. It's actually the first time I am using that and I quite like this combo. For the hospital I just used some warm grace and outlined the whole building with those grace. And then for the door I think I just used a neutral grey. But I am not a colouring expert at all. <laughs> so that's why I speed up uh, this part of the video. Now on to the ink blending. So I had a panel or I had a scene where there was uh, water, where there was a lake. So I used peacock feathers for this. And then for my second scene, there was a road uh, or I wanted it to be a road. So I used the black soot for that. And I just used some uh, low tech tape to mask off that road. Now for kind of a grassy hill, I used my Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink. And of course I used the uh, hillside stencils from Lawn Fawn to create kind of a hill, hillside shape. Now my sky was going to be uh, the same throughout the whole scene all throughout, or throughout all of the panels. And I used milled lavender, dusty concord and wilted violet for that one. Uh, I think this is a combination I haven't used before, but I really, really like how this one turned out. Um, 
At first I thought the, with the milled lavender and the dusty concord that it was quite dull, but with uh, when I added that wilted violet I really really loved how bright it looked. And with that lighter shade of the milled lavender that kind of gave the sky uh, a lighter glow. So I really like how that sky turned out. Now I did want to add a little bit of shimmer to my sky, so I used the Lawn Fawn Pixie Dust for that. I uh, sprinkled some water on a stamping block and mixed it with that pixie dust and then sprinkled on uh, that mix onto my ink blended panels. And then it was time to glue down all of my little scenes to that dandy day paper. Now here again you can see that little story come together. So the pregnant swan, then they were going to the hospital, then that baby stroller, and then the final scene was going to be the sentiment and the whole family on the lake. I did want to clarify that this one was uh, definitely pregnant. <laughs> so to do that I stamped that little heart um, out of some dye ink from Lawn Fawn. I think it was the color raspberry. I also stamped that heart um, close by the baby stroller to give it a little bit more interest. Onto the panel for the sentiment, I stamped my sentiment in Versamark ink and I white heat embossed it. And then I also uh, continued that sentiment on a little black strip and I white heat embossed this as well. Here I am placing my scenes in the correct order so that I know or so, so that my storyline kind of makes sense at the end. Uh, now here you can see me putting down some very strong score tape onto that flipping awesome mechanism just between all those score lines. I'm releasing the backing paper and then I am putting down all of my little panels. Here I die cut uh, another little piece of Dandy Day paper and that was going to be the piece where the flipping awesome mechanism would adhere to. So here you can see me adhering this onto that scalloped rectangle and then I am also adhering that final panel of that little family onto that mechanism. Now I did debate quite a bit about the color of my background, but I just went with um, a purple uh, shade so that it would match my night sky very well. So I used the watercolor wishes uh, paper pack and ink blended a bit on top with some wilted violet and then I added some stars with some white gouache. Now I adhered my whole mechanism with some foam tape and placed it on top of my card base. I played around a bit with the whole card to see if the mechanism would move smoothly and it did. I am very happy with how this card turned out and you can see that little adorable swan family at the end. I really really like it. So I hope you like it as well and that you will participate in the current uh, Cloud9 Crafts Challenge. I wish you a very happy day and I will see you soon. Bye!